narrated by Aisha that Barara came to seek her help writing of emancipation, and she had to pay five ukiya, of gold, by five yearly installments. Aisha said to her, Do you think that if I pay the whole sum at once, your masters will sell you to me, and I will free you and your walla will be for me? Barara went to her masters and told them about that offer. They said that they would not agree to it unless her walla would be for them. Aisha further said, I went to Allah's messenger peace be upon him and told him about it. Allah's messenger peace be upon him said to her, By Barara and Manumit her and the walla will be for the liberator. Allah's messenger peace be upon him then got up and said, What about those people who stipulate conditions that are not present in Allah's laws? If anybody stipulates a condition which is not in Allah's laws, then what he stipulates is invalid. Allah's condition, laws, are the truth and are more solid. Narrated by Orway. That Aisha told him that Barara came to seek her help in her writing of emancipation, for a certain sum, and that time she had not paid anything of it. Aisha said to her, Go back to your masters, and if they agree that I will pay the amount of your writing of emancipation and get your walla, I will do so. Barrera informed her masters of that but they refused and said, If she, i.e. Aisha, is seeking Allah's reward, then she can do so, but your walla will be for us. Aisha mentioned that to Allah's apostle who said to her, Buy and manumit her, as the walla is for the liberator. Allah's messenger peace be upon him then got up and said, What about the people who stipulate conditions which are not present in Allah's laws? Whoever imposes conditions which are not present in Allah's laws, then those conditions will be invalid, even if he imposed these conditions a hundred times. Allah's conditions, laws, are the truth and are more solid. Narrated by Abdullah bin Umar Aisha wanted to buy a slave girl in order to manumit her. The girl's masters stipulated that her walla would be for them. Allah's messenger peace be upon him said, To Aisha, what they stipulate should not stop you, for the walla is for the liberator. Narrated by Aisha Barrera came, to Aisha, and said, I have made a contract of emancipation with my masters for nine okiyas, of gold, to be paid in yearly installments. Therefore, I seek your help Aisha said, if your masters agree, I will pay them the sum at once and free you on condition that your walla will be for me. Barrera went to her masters but they refused that offer. She, came back, and said, I presented to them the offer but they refused, unless the walla was for them. Allah's messenger peace be upon him heard of that and asked me about it, and I told him about it. On that he said, buy and manumit her and stipulate that the walla should be for you, as walla is for the liberator. Aisha added, Allah's messenger peace be upon him then got up amongst the people, glorified and praised Allah, and said, then after, what about some people who impose conditions which are not present in Allah's laws? So, any condition which is not present in Allah's laws is invalid even if they were 100 conditions. Allah's ordinance is the truth, and Allah's condition is stronger and more solid. Why do some men from you say, oh so and so? Manumit the slave but the walla will be for me. Verily, the walla is for the liberator. Narrated by Amra bint Abdurrahman. Barrera went to Aisha, the mother of the faithful believers to seek her help in her emancipation, Aisha said to her, If your masters agree, I will pay them your price in a lump sum and manumit you. Barrera mentioned that offer to her masters but they refused to sell her unless the walla was for them. Aisha told Allah's messenger peace be upon him about it. He said, buy and manumit her as the walla is for the liberator. Narrated by Abdul Wahid bin Ayman. I went to Aisha and said, I was the slave of Utbah bin Abu Lahab. Utbah died and his sons became my masters who sold me to Ibn Abu Amor who manumit me. 
The sons of Utba stipulated that my wallah should be for them. Aisha said, Barara came to me and she was given the writing of emancipation by her masters and she asked me to buy and manumit her. I agreed to it, but Barara told me that her masters would not sell her unless her wallah was for them. Aisha said, I am not in need of that. When the Prophet peace be upon him heard that, or he was told about it, he asked Aisha about it. Aisha mentioned what Barara had told her. The Prophet peace be upon him said, buy and manumit her and let them stipulate whatever they like. So, Aisha bought and manumit her and her masters stipulated that her wallah should be for them. The Prophet peace be upon him said, the wallah will be for the liberator even if they stipulated a hundred conditions.